Hello everyone and welcome to a new makeup video. If you did not know, I was in LA like a week ago and I went shopping at Sephora because there's a lot of brands that we don't have here in Sweden. So now when I was in the States, I could get a bunch of them and I, oh my God, it was, yeah expensive <laughs> and then i also have this one it says garnier on it but it's not garnier it's mostly mixed professional makeup because i was in la with mixed professional makeup so i got a bunch of their new products i have some new brushes and also some new gloss sticks right here then i also have this whole bag filled with new products I don't know where to start, but we're gonna get through this together and uh, yeah, let's just get started with either a foundation or if I find a primer. This will probably also be kind of like a haul because I do want to show you guys everything that I got um, because I bought a bunch of stuff and I can't use all of it. I got these. Have you guys heard of it? I don't know if it's just placebo, but I kind of feel like they're working. <laughs> Then I also got a hand sanitizer and I thought we could start off with that. I didn't have a primer. This is the Touchland Wild Watermelon Power Mist and it should be a hydrating hand sanitizer. I just feel like I've seen people have these kinds of hand sanitizers and they're so cute. Ooh. Just like cute to have in your bag, I feel like. <laughs> then as I said, no primer. So we're starting off with foundation and that is how I usually do it either way. We have the Hourglass Neo Hydrating Skin Tint. I got the shade number two. And then for my very first House Labs product, it's the Lady Gaga brand, if you do not know. This is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation and I got it in shade 100 Light neutral so we have to uh, choose between these two and i did get the uh, light neutral concealer also from house labs so i feel like maybe it would be smarter to go with these two i have heard so much about this both good and bad things and hopefully i will really like it so the only thing that i'm kind of confused about is that this is number 100 and the concealer is 11 and I kind of don't feel like that goes together but it's the same shade name light neutral and light neutral a really pretty packaging it's just gonna shake it a little bit by the way excuse the heatless curls we're gonna see how it turns out in the end of this video take off my little jacket there it's very watery like liquidy consistency it says long wear medium coverage weightless formula we will see so we have a makeup sponge but i also have the new foundation brushes from spectrum and i kind of feel like i want to go in with a brush for that because that's what i usually do and then we might go in with the sponge afterwards this was the shade Light Neutral. It looks a little bit dark for me right now. Yep. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but it's for sure a little bit too dark for me. It's a very, very lightweight formula. Like you can barely feel it on your skin. I really, really like the buffing it in with my brush. Very easy to blend in. It looks really, really pretty. You can't really feel it at all on your skin. Um, and the color, I mean, right now, it's not looking too bad, honestly. I like it a lot, actually. Like, it looks so, so pretty. But we'll see after a while. Uh, you guys know that foundations usually, like, crease on me and stuff like that. Then we have the concealer. As I said, the same shade name but it's the 11, not the 100. But why I picked this one was because it had the same shade name and I did not want a lighter color. I've recently started to use concealers that is like my exact same foundation shade or yeah, I don't want to highlight underneath my eyes that much nowadays. It at least does not look lighter. So I'm just gonna go in underneath my eyes and then a little bit here on my pimple yeah and let's just go in a little bit like that and a little bit there not to highlight just to get a little bit more coverage 
I was gonna go in with the sponge, but I also got this little sponge. It's not like a powder puff or anything, and I kind of wonder if this should be... If it's made to use underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna try this one actually. It's also from the same brush set from Spectrum. I mean, that worked. That also worked. I just keep it right here and try and not blend it too high because that will just give me a lot of creasing. The medium coverage is the perfect coverage. It just looks so hydrating and pretty. I'm someone that doesn't really like a heavy full coverage feel and look and it does not have that at all. It's a very natural finish and it's so so pretty. I do not have a new contour and I've been contouring a lot lately. So I'm going in with my Milk Makeup, uh, the new shade. I think, or it's just new. The contours are maybe all of them new. It's called Toasted. And I've been starting to contour just a little bit like this, where I want it to look the most hollow, hollow-y. This just makes everything look a lot more natural. Then I go in with a little bit right here, underneath here there and there and then we go in with on top of the nose and underneath the nose for blush i'm going in with one of the milk lip and cheek tints these are some of the shades that i've never used before and i just got i think i'm gonna go in with perk because i feel like that would be cute with my new hair have I said that I have a new hair color? I mean, you guys can probably see. It's not super different from what I had before, uh, but I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Where should I go in with? This is Dash and this is Perk. Oh yeah, I'm going in with this one. <laughs> Perk. No, Dash. <laughs> Fuck. To blend in the contour, I'm going in with the Spectrum A32. It's a very, very small like blush brush, maybe. I just feel like it would be perfect for contour. Yes, I love this brush for this. And then for the cheeks, I just go in like stipple it on and not like blend it all the way into the sides. And I just think that that looks way more natural and pretty, right? This also, I just try and not blend out too much, if that makes sense. I just want it where I've already put it. And there we go. The shade I chose is the color Dash, and I'm just gonna go in with a brush like this. And then I blend it like so. All right, there we go. I have really tried to pack this on now and I cannot make it more pigmented than that. I gotta say, I really like the color, but I just wish that it was a little bit more pigmented because I want more pigment. I don't have any new powder, so I'm gonna go in with my latest favorite combo, which is the Kimchi Almost Catfished Powder and then the Puff Puff Pash Pass Powder in lavender i think yeah lavender and that white powder i make sure that the concealer is all blended out then i go in with a little bit of this and i just lightly set it i saw a tiktok of someone saying that you should go in with a pressed powder before and then go in with the setting powder and i don't know why but somehow that just stuck with me and now i feel like it works really well <laughs> then i go in with the setting powder and this has a tint of lavender so for me at least that's very pale it looks really pretty then i'm gonna go in with my new powder puff also from the same brush set remove the excess and then put it underneath here and blend it as we go in. Even though I said that I'm not super into the bright under eyes right now, but that is such a good look. 
isn't it it looks so so pretty i can also go in with a little bit more powder just underneath my bangs just so my bangs don't get oily during the day <laughs> my base right now is looking flawless isn't it although as i said the blush is just a little bit too not there for me so i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite anastasia blush trio in pool party this one called cash which i'm gonna go in with right now it's just the most perfect blush color and yes as you guys know i like a lot of blush <laughs> so and lastly just gonna put a little bit on the nose and then you guys we have a new highlighter from anastasia beverly hills and this one i'm a little bit skirt off it's called the glow seeker highlighter it looks really pretty but just look at this packaging by the way it's so so pretty but i think that it might be a little bit too dark as you guys can see and it's so heavy like come on chill i'm just gonna go in with my fan brush i love this one for highlighter nowadays i mean i can kind of get away with it i feel like because it is a highlighter um but i wonder if some lights it might look a little bit too dark i don't know if you can tell but i'm not getting wowed by it i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my ozone from nabla oh so much better already <laughs> i mean just look at the difference i'm gonna go in with ozone here on my nose as well oh i just realized fuck I should have go in with this one. This is my new obsession to go in with on the nose. It's the Jumbo Multi-Use Face Stick in Vanilla Ice Cream from NYX Professional Makeup. It's so pretty on the nose. I wonder if I could go in with it on top. I don't know. Maybe if I warm it up on my finger before. Okay, before. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz my face with some All Nighter from Urban Decay. And then I'm gonna go in with my brows. And my new favorite brow combo is to go in with the Brow Wiz from Anastasia in Granite and the Brow Pren also from Anastasia Rebel Hills in Dark brown it is time for eyes and i have a few new eyeshadow palettes let's just open up all of them and see what we have so first off i have both the nyx professional makeup ultimate uh i know that's a bright palette and the warm neutrals palette i'm pretty sure that i mean this is new right but this i just think have a new packaging so here we have this one really pretty although i don't think that i'm into pastel or neon colors today then for the warm neutrals really pretty this could be something but also not <laughs> then we have the sultry eyeshadow palette from anastasia beverly hills i have the big one but i think that was only a limited edition so or is it? I don't know. But I have the big one. And this is the mini sultry. I did use this one yesterday because I just felt like it went perfectly with my cool toned hair right now. Then the modern renaissance mini eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The hold that that palette had on us like a few years ago was insane. It is so cute. I think it's kind of like the same here. Or I could go in with this one, but I feel like it's a little bit more warm toned than I wanted to. I really like the middle shade though. And then lastly, we have the LH Cosmetics Creator Palette in... Is it just called the Creator Palette? I don't know. Oh, that is really pretty, but is it the same thing? Like... Every single brand right now is just launching warm toned palettes perfect for Christmas and it's just not my vibe right now. So I feel like we should go in with the sultry some Anastasia eye primer. Blend that in with my new favorite brush for this. It's a concealer brush from Nabla or is it? No, so Ava, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's the perfect shape for eye primer in blending. <laughs> 
Gonna go in with the AA16 flat brush and I'm gonna go in with this lighter champagne color. This is gonna take it's too long. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. <laughs> there we go. Just gonna make sure we have it here in the inner corner as well. I can also go in a little bit underneath here. And then I'm using this tiny fluffy brush, the A12, with this cool toned crease color. And we are just gonna put it here. I'm not gonna blend it much more than to here. And then into the lash line a little bit. And then underneath my eyes, just a tiny bit more focusing here on the outer corner. I have been liking to wear my eyeshadow like downwards, if that makes sense. Kind of to make my eyes look a little bit more droopy, if that makes sense. And then I'm just using the excess right here. Then go in with the black. And I'm just following my natural line, winging it out a little bit like that. And then for the LH Cosmetics Ink Liner, is it called Ink? Epic Ink and Infinity Ink. All right. This eyeliner, I'm just gonna go straight out like that. It feels a lot more um, pointy than the Epic Ink Liner. Still don't know if I prefer that or if I don't prefer that. All right, there we have it. Very small liner though, but I am also going to go in here in the inner corner. All right, there we have it. Now for mascara. I love this new mascara. This is the new Lash Sculpt Mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It should be lengthening and volumizing and it's my favorite mascara. It is so, so good. I've been using it like every single day since I got it and therefore I did get a uh, another one in Sephora or from Sephora in LA <laughs> um, but I still have a little bit left of this it's starting to get really really dry though but I am going to go in with this one there we have it with just one coat I've been sitting wondering if I should go in with some lashes I've been using these um, Mix Professional Makeup Plaster Lashes for like the last week or so and it's so cute and I've been doing this like bottom lashes as well yeah let's just go in with it I just go in and take one of the cluster lashes whip them in some glue dry them a little bit and then I just stuck them underneath and stick this one beside that one and then the last one and this one i'm just applying and there we go that is the difference a little bit more fun for a video so for lip liners all of these uh how many is it five i bought at sephora when i was in la i love lip liners and i just wanted to try out a bunch of new brands. I'm just gonna go ahead and just swatch them quickly for you guys and also swatch them for me because I don't know what colors I have. So we have two new ones from Rare Beauty. I have the lighter one called Creative and that is how that one looks. Really pretty and feels very creamy. Then we have the shade Wise. Uh, darker, a little bit more cool toned nude-ish brown then i have my very first makeup by mario product although i think that makeup by mario just launched here in the nordics uh, so if i like these i can get more okay we have a little brush there and then the product there and this is a one that you need to um sharpen it's called dimitri so dimitri it feels like a perfect nude this feels a little bit more dry and the color is a little bit more cool toned nude but very pretty. Then we have the Le Monster Lip Crayon from House Labs in the shade Honey Matte. Just look at that. Yeah, that's right. So it's like a big lip crayon, which is what it says. Let's put it here. It was called Honey Matte and it's a very honey 
color like a light brown kind of with a lot of orange in it really pretty i think i'm gonna love that when i have more warm toned hair and then lastly we have a new brand that i've never even heard of so this is the refi lip sculpt in taupe and this also looked really interesting as you guys can see pretty weird here we have the lip liner Ooh. so this is like a transparent from what i've heard it should make the lip liner last longer but don't ask me how or why it feels like a lip primer kind of very dry like whoa that is extremely dry is there something wrong with mine so there we have that one i don't know if you can tell but it's very dry okay you know what i'm actually gonna go in with the um refi one i just want to see how it feels on the lips if it's not as dry on the lips perhaps i would just google quickly if she should go in with it before or after. Creamy blendable liner. Not the one that I got, <laughs> right now at least. How to use, apply the lip liner and press lips together to blend. Apply a small amount of the setter over the liner and allow to dry for 10 to 20 seconds. Yeah, you know what I do? I'm having a little bit of a problem with it being a little bit too dry because I can't go in with a second layer. It just crumbles i just realized that i am of course not gonna go in with this one right now because i have another product that we're gonna go in with at first and i do have some lip glosses as well as you guys know i've been loving lip tints and i got the soft pinch tinted lip oil in the light from rare beauty it looked so pretty uh, so we'll see Oh, that is so pretty. This is so pretty. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I have some new uh, Milk Odyssey lip glosses, although I've tried some other colors, so it's not super new. I have the Gloss Bomb in Ice from Fenty Beauty. I love Fenty's glosses. And this is not new, but it just looked so pretty. I also have some new NYX Professional Makeup, and I also got the new... Or not new, but rare beauty gloss balm in nearly neutral i've had a mini one of this and i already know that i love it just for funsies i wonder if we should go in with the fenty one because i feel like this would be like a transparent right with just a little bit of a cooler tint maybe put it on a little bit the lips just gets better and better this is so pretty the makeup look is done and now we just gotta let the hair down and see how that one looks. I love heatless curls. And there we have it. I've changed so I look a little bit more presentable and I've teased my hair because it's a curse. So this is the final look. I am so, so happy with it. I absolutely love the eyes. It's such a simple eye look. Um, Obviously, it's nothing spectacular, but I just love having my eyeliner like this. And the lips, you guys, I am absolutely obsessed with the lips. This lip tint oil in the light, go get it. I am gonna go and get some more colors for sure, but I feel like this is the perfect lip color for me. Everything that I've used, I have here in front of me. I'm just gonna take out some things that i really think has stood out and i'm just gonna quickly do a one minute review of all of them so it's not gonna be long the house labs concealer and foundation is so pretty i just wish that i had the perfect shade match right now it's so thin it doesn't feel like i have anything on it's the perfect finish it's not too glowy um, but it's not too matte. It's just like the perfect in the middle and my under eyes are looking so pretty right here I usually have a lot of um, Creasing right here and uh, here, but it's not that much and I've been sitting here for like two hours I'm so so impressed the Anastasia highlighter no the makeup by mario and rare beauty lip liners they look so pretty still on my hand and also the fenty gloss and the the light rare beauty lip oil 
Love, 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 love. <laughs> Not super impressed by the Refi lip liner. The LH Cosmetics Infinity Ink Liner. I mean, it looks good now, but I wonder what the price difference is. Because right now I can't really see a huge difference and uh, the price is uh, very important when it comes to liners, I think, because I go through them so quickly. <laughs> the brushes and sponges from Spectrum, I am so impressed with this little thing. If they still have it, because I'm pretty sure that this is limited edition, go and get it because this comes in a pack of three. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Go ahead and like this video if you did and also subscribe if you like my content. I do have some hair content as you guys know. I have nail content and then I also have makeup videos obviously and some other. I also have a vlogging channel if you want to check out that. I will be starting vlogmas series December 1st so I hope you guys are excited for that. Have a great day and hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Bye guys!